how to become a millionaire chicken farmer in 2025 ah, millionaire chicken farmer how to become millionaire chicken farmer not how i became millionaire chicken farmer um millionaire chicken farmer okay my name is antonio innocent mdongi guys and if you are new to our youtube channel guys kindly hit the subscribe button like and share today i've come with good news for you because of the many requests most of you have been claiming you've been following me for a while and the masterclass is quite uh, you know expensive for you as starters i've given you a christmas bonus so i've given you the masterclass at a slashed half price and this offer is going to last for only a week and we're back to our normal prices so this is like an introductory offer it's a welcoming offer so get to our website i've shared the link in the description below grab your course of your choice be it broilers layers or feed formulation or bsf and dairy start learning and you'll enjoy a discounted price how can i become a millionaire chicken farmer some of these terminologies we use are so big that to the field they really might not apply but instead of saying how can i become a millionaire chicken farmer i could say how could you become a super successful chicken farmer number one you start on the wrong foot for you to become a successful chicken farmer you first have to start on the right note the right note i mean already we are assuming you have the requisite resources like you have the enough amount of money to invest in this particular project yes you have the money but where are you going to invest it you cannot invest in a chicken farming project in an area that is full of snow and then you build the structures for tropical regions making sense what am i trying to mean let me use a comparison of two farmers or two investors or two entrepreneurs each of them has an equal amount to the other and they both want to invest in poultry one entrepreneur researches and says i want to produce eggs or i want to produce broilers for meat and so because i want to do it in africa where is the best place that is suited for me to do my production and this directly is impacted by climate good friends the moment you invest your poultry project in a warmer area in a warmer area worst case scenario in a hot area then already you started scoring of course someone who is investing in a hot area will have to work on mechanisms on how to reduce the temperatures to optimum and someone who is investing in a warm area say mombasa the coast say the coast kisumu and nakuru even in those particular areas that you are investing in the exact location of the project should be warm warm areas enhance rapid growth warm areas enhance optimum feed intake warm areas reduce the fcr remember we always target the fcr to be below 0.02 percent that simply means the feed conversion ratio if the birds are eating feed what is the feed going to the body of the bird to do so if there are layers then the birds are feeding and the feed is directly taken into the system of the bird and converted to eggs this is one farmer if they are broilers the birds are feeding and the feed is directly converted into tissue as fast as possible or most of the feed this other farmer simply wanted to invest in farming and so he went to put up a project in a very cold area mountainous area an area at the foot of a mountain or an area that is a plateau and is naturally cold when an area is cold it simply means that if the farmer will build a normal tropical structure as such behind me the birds 
are going to feed more. And the more they will feed, this feed will also be put into use by the liver in generation of heat. We want it to be like Gigo. There is a scientific principle in school called Gigo. Garbage in, garbage out. So, it were good if the feed we give our birds would be converted to what we are keeping or the purpose we are keeping those birds for. If this farmer who has invested in a cold area has to be at the same level of production with this farmer who has invested in a warm area, it automatically means that this farmer B will have to build a structure called an environmental controlled structure. That means that the initial cost of investment, the initial capital put in production by these two farmers, farmer B is going to spend much more money or a higher amount of money just in setting up the project. And that translates to his payback period will be so long, so extended. And in case of a risk, farmer B might never pick up. Farmer A, just by the choice of the correct place, will invest less in the structures and his or her birds will enjoy the external con conditions and therefore they will produce more and faster. His or her payback period will be shortened. Going forward, because Farmer B has invested in environmental controlled structures, the project will require a higher amount of running costs. Unlike Farmer B, unlike Farmer A, who is enjoying the natural sunlight, the natural temperatures, and the cool, humid conditions outside. Number two, when we say that for you to become a millionaire farmer or to become a super successful farmer, you have to start on the right footing, choice of project is key. And this forms my next episode when I'll be discussing Kenyaji improved birds. As a farmer, you either have to be a meat producer or an egg producer. And if you choose to do egg production, then at this point, don't just buy chicken and say, I want brown chicken because brown chicken are good for eggs. Be very specific on the breed that you want and the source of the birds. For example, the birds you can see here are Highland Brown Classic. This is a breed that I'm guaranteed of a laying period of up to 100 weeks. If I went for the other commercial layers, I would be having a laying period of 18 months, 72 weeks to 80 weeks. I'm out of the game. So it means that I have to spend more again to start the entire project and brood. So then choice of breed becomes very, very vital. Choose the right breed. Be it broiler, you either want Cobb 500 or Hubbard or whichever breed you want. If you want layers, be it Lohman Brown, Highland Brown, Shavers Brown, whichever breed you want. Then go into the details of that particular breed. Very important for you to become a successful farmer or for you to hit a jackpot. We look at the major cost of production. What is the major cost of production? What is the biggest cost of production? Of course, it's feed. I have been singing for you every day. Make your own feed. Then you simply improve the quality and reduce the cost. That has been the song of the day. When you make your own feed, you are able to check the quality of the feed. You are able to reduce the cost of the feed. So you save more and you have much more money left at your disposal. So when you start reaping from the birds, because you spend less, then automatically it simply means that you will make more money. You get that point?
you want to succeed in this enterprise and you have all the requisite things but you have no idea even if you know a little bit about it you don't know much about it because this is not your area of specialization like i've been seeing for you in the other videos the knowledge becomes your determinant of success or failure you really have to be knowledgeable you really have to be knowledgeable if not you really have to invest in acquiring labor that is very skilled your labor will determine your project your labor will determine the success rate of your project your labor will determine how your project is going to succeed because assuming you have got a very good manager not only good but very passionate this person will update you on when to vaccinate the birds this person will be able to watch the birds detect any early signs of an abnormality be it a disease or a symptom that is not normal then report to you then you can also be able to respond on time it simply means that for you to become a successful farmer or a millionaire chicken farmer you really have to invest much on how to avert or avoid risks we discussed in our previous episodes what are some of the things that make farmers to fail we've been discussing and saying that the risk in poultry business is very high it is true the risk is very high in terms of diseases in terms of the markets but at this point the biggest risk that you have in the poultry business is the diseases and the routine management practices so it automatically means that you have to have someone who is very skilled in the enterprise we have come up with master classes for you in as much as you are employing labor that is skilled we also need you as the owner of the project to have an idea of the project share these master classes with your staff then you can work together now that you are knowledgeable you've set the project at the right place you've done the right structures you've gotten the right breed you've worked on the cost of feed you've controlled the risk then now you need to have the skilled labor and you are good to go there is no way you will miss to succeed with all this put in place who loves you like aim agriculture farm let's meet on our website www.aimagriculturefarms.com see you in the next episode